Hey, the city looks almost bearable from up here. If I follow this road north, it should take me right to the Mechanist Tower. telling you that the only stench heartier than your rotting barrack of a master is the liquor on his fetid breath. If he comes near Lady Van Vernon again, we'll boil his knickers. Ho oh, ho! Mighty fine words coming from a knock-kneed, inbred page boy such as yourself. 
Our good master Willy wouldn't be caught near that frumpy little trollop unless he were holding her back at the end of a halberd. <gasps> How dare you defile the name of someone so good and virtuous as the Lady Van Vernon? Old Lady is a saint among mortal women. An angel so pure the heavens couldn't hold her. <laughs> ah, your lady, an angel? You're lucky the dockside whore keeps aren't bashing down her door for stealing their clientele. Why, just last night, I saw her out back warming up the stable boy. Such slander will not be tolerated while we're on watch. You'd best run and rescue your helpless limp lord before he founders in his own vomit or wakes up naked in a hen coop. Scurry off, or you'll require some unnecessary ventilation! Is that a threat, you shriveled old maid? You go to prick us with your sewing needles? On this side of the street, we shoot like soldiers, so don't make promises your arrows can't keep. You gone! You gone too far this time, you camel man and tunic wedding mollycoddle! An arrow in the throat and I shut you up! stench heartier than your rotting burrick of a master is the liquor on his fetid breath. If he comes near Lady Van Vernon again, we'll boil his knickers. Oh, mighty fine words <sighs> coming from a knock-kneed, inbred page boy such as yourself. Our good master Willie wouldn't be caught near that frumpy little trollop. We shoot like soldiers, so don't make promises your arrows can't keep. You gone! You gone too far this time, you camel man and tunic wedding mollycoddle! An arrow in the throat and I shut you up!
nothing there now. Hey! Intruder! God! <laughs> Who's no... <gasps> Quiet, you lumbering ox. You're making enough racket to wake the whole of Dayport. Well, it's dark, and I can't seize when I'm lifting. What you'll see is the haft of my sword across your brow if you don't hurry things up. There's a guard in the building, and we're both skewered if he hears you. All right, all right. But I got to me a question. Do we want the gold or the jewelry? We want whatever you can carry, you taffer. Now hurry it along before we're seen. Or maybe you want to spend a lifetime or two in the Bluecoats company? The Bluecoats? Where? Oh, just hurry it up already! Well, well, housebreakers. How quaint. You know you can't hide forever! Come on out and I promise I'll take care of you quickly. You! Hey, I'm talking to you! Scram! Quiet, you lumbering ox. You're making enough racket to wake the whole of Dayport. Well, it's dark, and I can't see when I'm lifting. What you'll see is the haft of my sword across your brow if you don't hurry things up. There's a guard in the building, and we're both skewered if he hears you. All right, all right. But I got to me a question. Do we want the gold or the jewelry? We want whatever you can carry, you taffer. Now hurry it along before we're seen. Or maybe you want to spend a lifetime or two in the Bluecoats company? The Bluecoats? Where? Oh, just hurry it up already! Hmm. Come on now. I won't hurt you. Much. <clears throat> hey, who are you? Take what? this! Quiet, you lumbering ox. You're making enough racket to wake the whole of Dayport. Well, it's dark. Oh, what's I over there? What <gasps> you'll see is the haft of my sword across your brow if you don't hurry things up. Not as exciting as I thought. There's a guard in the building, and we're both skewered if he hears you. All right, all right. But I got to me a question. Do we want the gold? Well, the jewelry. We want whatever you can carry, you taffer. Now hurry it along before we're seen. 
Or maybe you want to spend a lifetime or two in the Blue Coats company? The Blue Coats? Where? Oh, just hurry it up already. Dayport. Well, it's dark, and I can't see when I'm lifting. What you'll see is the half of my sword. What's that? If you don't hurry, You've you messed with me! <clears throat> Quiet, you lumbering ox. You're making enough racket to wake the whole of Dayport. Well, it's dark, and I can't see when I'm lifting. What you'll see is the half of my sword across your body. Oh, gotta you stay on my toes. <clears throat> We're gonna have fun gutting you, Tapper Boy! Huh. Too many damn rats around here. <coughs> hey! Hmm. That sounded funny. That uh, was just nothing. I shouldn't even be here. I should be... I should be in a game or something. While you can, Tapper. You're ours now. <gasps> you won't stay hidden for long, Tapper.
Come on out, and I- Oh, but it's just not fair. The season's most Ballyhooed social event, and we're not even invited? I am a Rothschild. Don't they understand that? Don't they understand how incredibly important I am? Shh, shh. I know, I know, dear. But there will be other banquets. Besides, it's not as if we intend to join their silly religion or anything. No, it's not that. It's just that, that, well... Yes, my snookums? Oh, pumpkin! The Mechanists invited the Bumblesins! The Bumblesins! I mean, they haven't been in the inner circle in years! Now, Frederick, don't you think you're overreacting just a tad? <laughs> no, 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 no! I am Frederick Juniper Rothschild III, and I deserve more recognition than those commoners.
Oh, I know what we'll do, my sweet. We'll throw our own ball to the abyss with those mechanists and their private affairs. Besides, they're just looking for supporters. We'll have our own banquet and invite everyone but the Bumblesons. Would that make you happy, my love? Oh, yes! What an absolutely capital idea!
for them be wrecking <laughs> Wonder what that noise was. Uh, okay. <laughs> Nothing there. <gasps> Strange noises. This is your last chance. Step out here. <clears throat> Who's there? Nothing. I'm too tense. <laughs> ah! Thief! Stop him! I'll find I'm you. Worried. Strange me, things. I uh, you're making me so mad. something up. Watch for anything at all. Is someone in here?
that's strange. I could have sworn something was there. <clears throat> Is that you, Kevil? What? Please, stop! <clears throat> We got problems.
Huh?
No need for alarm, ladies, just passing through. Someone there?
<laughs> no need for alarm, ladies. Just passing through. No need for alarm, ladies. Just passing through. Uh, what's that? Speak! So, that's the castle of the future. I'll take my tenement any day of the week. Oh, <laughs> 
That wasn't so tough. Maybe tower security isn't as tight as I thought. What noise there that softly calls? Rats would be wise to scurry elsewhere. Soft. It was a noise I heard. <coughs> Quiet once more. Still
to understand. Creation. <laughs> Did that shadow move? Quiet once more. Builder be praised. <coughs> Rats would be wise to scurry elsewhere. Ooh! My boat shall unseam thee. Once more, Builder be praised. What noise there that softly calls? <laughs> if twas a boiler, then it need be serviced anon, for it should not ping so. Message number three of six. <gasps> Lords and ladies, behold the Builder's Chapel. It is here we reflect upon the Builder's great plan. The servants I am giving thee are examples of our strivings towards his ideals. Before they were servants, the souls behind the masks were lost and unproductive. Now, they are models of efficiency. Alas, if only I could be there to share with thee the wonder of this moment. But I digress. 
I'm Nick DeTour. So, Karras doesn't even show up for his own party.
message number one of six. Is this functioning? Oh, my good guest, welcome to Angel Watch. I have gathered you here, citizens of exceptional breeding, for a fine and festive evening. The builder's work never ceases. Thus, I am not able to attend in person, but I am present in heart and voice. As you can plainly hear, Franvinia will be your host in my absence. Now, our evening together begins. would be wise to scurry elsewhere. What dragonfly flits about? Ah, twas just a moss in my eyes, for now all's clear. And there cameth an oxen, and Kairith smote it. And there cameth a sycamore, and he did rain blows till it too was sorely smoted. And two lamblings came that he, one and the next, did smoke bravely. <coughs> Builder! Front doors are locked. Looks like Karis wants a captive audience. The fuel that burns away the writhing jungle that lies beyond the house of Cavus.
built my home from brick and stone. A child is toiling for childish time. Now I am a man and I have built my home from iron and steel. Blessed be the building for this and all of this. What's that? Hold, weed. Put down thy weapon. I did expect. If someone is there... For the builder's sake, what?
houses. Someone should look into that. Who's there? Is that the? Ah, all seems well enough now. I won't have people looking about where I can't see them. How like dare this? you! Anyone know how to turn this back on?
message number two of six. Greetings again, guest. I pray your spirits do not suffer from my absence. I present to each a gift. The most wondrous yet of my innovations. A living worker suited to all household tasks. Ready always to perform your bidding. I call them the servants. The servant knows not how to lead or gossip. The servant knows only how to tirelessly perform thy will, be it cooking, cleaning, or gardening. Please, accept them with my gratitude. But the tour continues. Pray, do follow Vilnia once again. If you can, villain, <clears throat> I shall spot thee soon enough. An intruder is here, I'm most sure of it.
cowards game you play there. What? Come into the light so that I might see thee. Rats, all filthy and unholy rot. Surely that's all it was. For Karis' sake, is there someone there? Yes, is that you, sweetie?
Did you see something? Do not. <laughs> Message number four of six. <laughs> privilege get privilege get privilege get privilege get privilege get. I trust you will enjoy this beast presented by the servant I have given you. Imagine a short while ago these servants were confined to an asylum, mentally feeble. They were of no use to anyone. Now they are safe and productive. Now they know happiness. Would that I could be with you tonight for the servants make excellent cooks. After you dine, friend Vilnia will guide the arm to the gallery. <clears throat> For Karis sake, is there someone? Oh! Ah! I guess the Loyalty is the fuel that burns away the writhing jungle that lies beyond the house of Kavis. And behold, a man. Oh! Uh. And behold, my fingers in the lock of the Seek out what you heard.
goes into lock like cogs on a gear. <laughs> Blood. <gasps> Who made that noise? Be gone.
one thing's for sure, this Karis guy has lost his mind. Who's there? Hello?
What was that? I guess it was nothing. <clears throat> Is someone there? will guide mine search, heathen. Caris will guide mine search, heathen! <laughs> Where hast thou- I can hear that. Huh? Uh. 
Message number six of six. It is here that our evening ends. Enjoy thee the music and dance if thou wilt. On the morrow, when thou dost return home, your servant will be waiting for thee. Yeah? They travel on their own. Indeed, on occasion, they will leave your homes in response to a device I call the Guiding Beacon and return to us for but small adjustments. Upon their return to your home, the better servants they'll be. I apologize yet again for my absence tonight, noble friends. Fare thee well. that what guard <clears throat> Number five of six. The builder created beauty to bring us joy. For the joyful of spirit work the longest. And in this gallery we find beauty. 
fine guest thou surely have precious works of art in thy home. Here too the servants are of use. They are completely trustworthy. At first hint of trouble they will call for the nearest guard. Take some time to appreciate our gallery. Then Vilnia will escort you to the ballroom. there.
greeting, Garrett. Thou art expected, though not precisely welcomed. Seem not so surprised. I have anticipated thine arrival, just as I now anticipate thy departure. <laughs> Art thou a religious man? It is time to say thy prayers. Thy sins will be thine own undoing. Expected, though not precisely welcomed. Seem not so surprised. I have anticipated thine arrival, just as I now anticipate thy departure. <laughs> Art thou a religious man? It is time to say thy prayers. Thy sins will be thine own undoing. and get out of here while I still can. Tower security has been breached. God he will all exits the streets and rooftops. And God damn you are the streets. Tower security has been breached. God he will all exits the streets and rooftops. And God damn you are the streets.
Forgive me, for I've lost... was a memory of leaves flapping, nothing more. that noise reveal thyself come out from the shadows the builder will show all if tis meant to be revealed Feet shall be unrooted soon. Uh. Ah!
making those noises? Someone back there. How a breeze and nothing more. There's nothing there. <laughs> that no thyself.
Art thou there? Hold, weed. Put down <coughs> thy weapon. to admit it, but you were right about the new scripture of the Master Builder. Karras is up to something, and that book is his master plan. It's too bad he's gone into hiding, or I'd make him eat his words. Karras is fanatical by nature, but now I fear his ambition as well. Please help me. You say he's giving these servants as gifts? Yes, and they must be connected somehow to the scripture. The servants are weapons. And the nobles have just invited them into their homes. I should be so lucky. And the schematics confirm what my agents presumed. Markham's Isle is the staging area for the Cetus Project. You knew about Markham's Isle? Do you know what it took to get into that office? I don't appreciate you wasting my time. You are arrogant, Garrett. Yet, you underestimate your own importance to the cause. Your actions have been invaluable. Do we know what the Cetus Project is? The schematics are too technical to decipher. But the name they reference, Brother Cavador, is the best lead we've had in months. Then we need him. I'm sure you'd love to ask a high-ranking mechanist a few questions. I'll go see if I can't convince Cavador to come back with me. There is much we could learn from him. Lotus, my agent on Markham's Isle, may have information on Cavador. Unfortunately, we've had no word from him for some time. Then he got careless. I won't make the same mistake. I have hoped that Lotus is still alive. He's a faithful agent and a trusted friend. If you could find him, we would be in your debt. I just hope you realize the risks I've been taking for you. It's not every day my services come so cheap. <laughs> 